Have you ever wondered if it was possible for someone to enter Buckingham Palace without an invitation? In fact, we know of trespasses of the White House's executive mansion. Yet, there have been several cases of uninvited guests of the palace as well, one even entering the Queen's bedroom. Here we document the showcase of one of the most scandalous events of Buckingham Palace, the Fagan event, in this episode of our Royal Min documentary series. Welcome to Royal Unusual, where we share unusual facts and interesting events of the royal family. I'm your host. Michael Fagan, born on August 8, 1948 in Clerkenwell, was the son of Ivy and Michael Fagan, having two other sisters, Elizabeth and Margaret, which are coincidentally the names of Her Majesty the Queen and her sister. So, some might say that their meeting was destiny. He started school in 1955, and 11 years later, 18-year-old Fagan escaped his father, who was believed to be treating his son violently. After his escape, he began working as a wall painter and married Christine in 1972, having four children. Christine got divorced from Fagan, within the year he trespassed on Buckingham Palace. However, the couple reunited later. The very first intrusion of Fagan was in June 1982. He shimmied up a drain pipe and startled the housemate who called the security escaping the guards before they arrived in the place. Fagan states he entered the palace through an unlocked window on the roof and wandered around for half an hour eating cheese and crackers. Although the alarms were true, police considered them faulty and thus turned them off without further investigation. He had a look at the royal portraits, sat on the throne for some time, and even drank a hot bottle of white wine, saying that was to help Prince Charles in finishing the bottle. The second intrusion was on July the 9th of the same year, at 7 a.m., because of the police officers leaving places before the right time of shift change. Fagan skated Buckingham Palace's 14-foot high perimeter wall, which was soft with revolving spikes and barbed wire, and climbed up a drain pipe before venturing into the Queen's bedroom at about 7.15 a.m. Though the movement was detected by the alarm sensor, the police again believed the alarm to be faulty, thus turned the sensor off. He again wandered around the Buckingham quarters for some time, later reaching the royal apartments. While he was in an entry room, Fagin broke a glass ashtray and cut his hand. In fact, he was still carrying some pieces of the broken glass while entering the bedroom of the Queen. When he entered the room and disturbed the curtain to wake the Queen up, he succeeded in his wish. As far as said in the initial report, Fagin was sitting on the edge of her bed. Fagan said the Queen instantly left the room to seek security in a 2012 interview and added that she found through the palace switchboard for the police, though not arrived. The duty footman Paul Wybrew appeared in the palace with two policemen on palace duty and rumors Fagan from the palace. Speaking of the arrest, as the intrusion was only a wrong act instead of a crime, he wasn't charged with the intrusion into Her Majesty's bedroom. On the other hand, he was charged for theft as he consumed a whole bottle of white wine while he was at the palace, and that criminal offense was dropped as he was committed for psychiatric evaluation. He was released from the psychiatric hospital on January the 21st, 1983. Yet, after a word of that release, he committed crimes for assorted times again, costing him some time in prison. Moreover, he is still alive to this day and continues his quote-unquote normal life in Britain. To close up, until another Fagan event in 2007, intrusions into the palace were only thought to be wrong acts, called trespasses. In that year, Buckingham Palace became a designated site for the purposes of Section 128 of the Serious Organized Crime and Police Act 2005, so that such offenses became criminal from that time on. So we don't think we will see another Fagan chatting with Her Majesty anytime soon. Thanks for watching. If you have come this far and liked our content, please consider liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and ringing the notification bell so you will never miss our weekly content. Until next time, have a great day.